here we have a Dane hay press. This is the predecessor to the hay baler because all it's doing is pressing the hay into the shape. And then you wire tie it, the bale into the shape it's at. You see some boards there with slots. I can explain it better if needed, but you put a board in as the hay or straw comes out, and then you put another one in to separate from one end to the other. As you dump hay into this big chute, well, hay or straw, into this big chute. We can talk later about how the hay gets to this machine or how this machine gets to the hay, but it's called a stationary hay press because you need to uh, you need to have the hay or straw in a pile to do this. So you have to power it somehow. We're gonna to talk today about how this belt operates this and what operates the belt. As you can see, we've got a pulley and a large rubber belt on it. The belt is designed to take power from another power unit, maybe a stationary engine, maybe a large tractor, maybe a steam engine. Uh, this uh, Dane hay press is uh, uh, the, made by Dane Company, uh, which uh, John Deere later bought out. Uh, so this belt then is going to turn and operate the press. The big r red top here will go up and down and push the hay inside. You actually feed it with your uh, pitchfork as the hay drops down. The red object drops down and pushes the hay in and when it backs up that's when you fill it full of hay. So let's look at the belt and how this operates. You can see it's attached to the tractor. It's a wide belt. There's a curve in it. We can talk through that curve a little bit later, or twist. We can talk about that later. You can see it's attached to the belt pulley of the tractor. We can also talk about which tractors have and don't have belt pulleys, but this was the way to operate them um, at the time. So I will fire this up. We're going to do it at low speeds. We haven't done a lot of maintenance to this Dane hay press and I don't want to ruin it. But you can get an idea as we engage the clutch. That's as simple as it gets right there. And yes, you can see a lot of safety concerns. At the time, we were worried about getting the job done. And as people started getting hurt, then safety measures got put in place. But this was the, this was the way of mechanization at the time. There were young kids and adults all running these pieces of equipment. This was a big step over um, other methods of bringing the hay and the straw in.